ADC and AK. Um, good fight. You know, good, great names in the fight. I think that that uh, um, Amir a couple of years ago was probably in a better position to deal with Crawford. I thought I thought Amir was a nightmare for any boxer. Uh, guys who come for pressure is different. I thought Amir was a nightmare for any boxer at, uh, up until like a couple of years ago. But I think at this point, his kind of his legs are starting to diminish. It's guys like Samuel Vargas are catching up to him, which you would never see a guy like Samuel Vargas catch up to him. And uh, um, and uh, I think if that's the Amir that was left now, I mean he cannot. He actually can be outboxed. You could not box Amir before. You had to take it to him. Now I think he can be outboxed. And so it's it's kind of a bad situation if you're fighting Terence Crawford. Who's the top dog at welterweight now? In your opinion. Um, you know, we haven't seen enough of Terence uh, at welterweight. Um, I don't think this fight's gonna really give us any other, any anything we we don't already know about Terence. You know, um, I think the, the top dog at welterweight is probably Errol Spence right now. We'll see how Thurman looks next week. Um, he, but Errol's a natural welter, very powerful. Um, Crawford is probably a bit more creative, but at that weight, weight classes matter, especially when you're fighting a, a big, strong, strong guy like Errol. But let's see how Mikey Garcia looks against Errol as well. Thank you. Thank you.